Today I'm going to be doing a really quick, really simple, and quite inexpensive solar install on my 2020 RPOD 190 that came prepped for solar. So I'm going to get straight into it. All that I've done so far is peeled the sticker off and drilled a hole. I drilled a hole just using a spade bit there. And uh, I'll put a link to the parts I'm using in the description, but I'm, I'm going with decent stuff here. I've got a Renogy MPPT charge controller. Um, so that's going in here and I've got two 100 watt panels that are gonna go up on the roof. And since it's already wired, we've got our wires in here for our charge controller and we've got plugs up top for our solar panels. So this should really be a quick install. And I stole a battery off another camper I have that I just put a big solar system on and put a, a 200 amp hour lithium battery in. Uh, so I took off the regular lead acid deep cycle battery, which matched this one. They they were manufactured roughly the same date. And so they're, they're the same brand, same age, all that. And so I slapped that. I bought a dual battery box, slapped that on the front of this thing. So we've got double the battery capacity, and now I'm going to get 200 watts of solar on the roof and a charge controller installed. So I used a pick here, and I reached in, and I could kind of, you have a little bit of access under here for the TV cables. So I was able to use the pick and pull these two wires out. So now I need to, I'm going to cut them right about in the middle, so I've got plenty of length for everything. And I'm going to figure out with a multimeter which two have 12 volts. And I did leave the battery connected for this purpose, so I can measure and figure out which two wires go up to the battery. And I can hook those to, of course, the battery input on the charge controller, which would be this right here. So uh, we'll get the battery hooked up to this thing, and then uh, then we can hook up the panel input, which we don't even have the panels on the roof yet, so uh, so that'll that'll be pre-wired then when we do get those hooked okay, up. Okay, I've got everything tested out here. So here's my battery cables, and I've printed off some labels. I'm gonna label which are coming from the battery and which are coming from the solar panels so that in the future you wouldn't need to test any. So one thing that I did add here is I did add a fuse holder to the solar line. So uh, there's no way to turn off the panels, but that way um, it will protect against a short somewhere, but also you could pull that fuse if you wanted to power down the solar input to the charge controller. And just like that, we've got our charge controller installed. So now we're gonna go up top and we're gonna get the panels on the roof. So here's the finished product up top. This isn't a super in-depth install video because I obviously just installed this and didn't shoot all of it. But what I did do is I used a stud finder to locate where the studs were. I marked it with a Sharpie. And so I hit the studs across the front here. And I actually, instead of putting it one screw there and one screw there like the brackets are drilled for, I actually put both of them in the front because they hit the stud. And I lucked out. I didn't do the same thing in the back, but I did luck out and I hit the stud right there. And that really was kind of more of a luck out because I, I just positioned this. I wanted to hit a stud in the front, but then in the back, this thing starts to taper off. So I put the brackets up a little bit where it made sense and was less concerned about the back being structurally ridiculously rigid because if it's going to catch wind, I would think that it would catch it more on the front end going down the road. But I hit the studs on that row, so we're rock solid. So I, I used... Uh, the same stuff, if you want a little bit more detail, I've got another video on installing the solar system on my 2021 RPOD 193, and I go much more in depth on that one, but I use the same process. I put some of this self-leveling sealant under the pads, put the pads down, ran the screws in, and then coated it with a self-leveling over the top to seal it all up good. Um, as far as the wiring, I used some of these little like 3M backed sticky pads for zip ties and I put a couple of them down to tie the wires down. Now I didn't position these panels based on wiring. I feel like that's the uh, least important factor in positioning them. I positioned them what made sense on the roof of the camper and on this 190 I could maybe sneak one sideways up front here but i think that's about what i'll be able to fit on this thing that's all i'm planning on doing so i positioned them based on the hitting the rafters and all of that and then figured out the wire later i did make these little one foot cables the y adapter worked out great to plug them into and then that ended right there and i made these one foot cables to plug in right here there again, if you watch the 193 video, you'll see details on what I on, on the process of doing that. Very simple. 
um, and and turned out clean on this one as well. I shouldn't have much shadowing. The the uh, air conditioner isn't a really high unit, so I feel like this is a pretty good position and uh, the sun's gonna hit these good and yeah, we'll see how 200 watts of panel works out, but there's what the top looks like. I'll show you the batteries in front and uh, yeah, we're basically good to go. So here's my dual batteries up front. Not a lot to see, I suppose, in the, the case there, but uh, they're of course sitting right next to each other and we've got our main negative lines hooked to the negative of this battery, our main positive lines hooked to the positive of that battery, and then positive looped to positive and negative looped to negative. You don't wanna hook your main lines both to one battery or the other. You wanna have negative to one, positive to the other, and then both positives hooked together and both negatives hooked together. So that's all that's all set up. Like I said, I stole this battery off my 193. So I've got like about 300 bucks in this install because I grabbed the battery off the other unit, bought 200 watt panels and the MPPT charge controller was all I needed and a couple Y adapters, but yeah, it's really inexpensive. I'll so we're up and running here. And one other thing I wanted to touch on was what I'm missing in this solar system and that is the inverter. Um, and depending on what your needs are, that may be something that you absolutely need in your setup. But that's why I was able to make this system so easy and so cheap. I hardly had to do any wiring. I had to wire a little bit here, had to sort of wire up a top, but really just plug a couple things in. Um, but the reason I skipped the inverter was because of the simplicity of it, save the money, save the time, all of that. But also, uh, because this fridge in this 2020 RPOD 190 is propane, shore power, or battery. So we can get away without 120 volts. Of course, we won't be able to use the rooftop AC, which I wouldn't have a solar system capable of really powering that anyways. Uh, and we won't be able to run the microwave convection oven um, or the electric element in the water heater. But we've got propane for the water heater. We've got 12 volts is all we need for the fridge. So really, I think we've got everything we need. And like I said in other videos, the number one thing for me personally is uh, that I've got three of these and I rent them out and it is great for me just to be able to park it in the yard and have the battery stay charged. I don't need to worry. That's about my system and, uh, and I'd encourage you, if you're thinking about going solar, I'd encourage you to start out with something like this because this was really cheap, really easy, and then you'll figure out whether or not it's something that you actually need, um, you know, whether you benefit from it or not before going, you know, straight into the inverter and a lot more money and lithium iron, iron phosphate batteries and, and all of that stuff. So, so yeah, real simple, real inexpensive.